All right, y'all. So I have something very exciting for you all. I got my lash cases y'all yes i got them um they are so cute i remember explaining my idea on instagram live y'all i'm thinking that one will come with the diamond topper and then one will come without so cute um i'm going to get my sliders so that the lashes can slide in there i want to show you how the lashes look in there um when i get my sliders i'm trying to achieve to launch my lashes on new year's or after new year's i'm so excited this is so cute to be y'all it's so bomb i did get inspired by taylor may jane she just uploaded a tutorial on this my cut crease came out so perfect today like i was so happy um, and it really has to do with your cut crease brush. I was cutting the brush and stuff like that. Like, man, you'll hear about it in the video. If y'all want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. But y'all want me to talk about my life like a chit chat. Get ready. Leave in the description right below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And don't forget to click that bell button right next to that subscribe button once you subscribe to this channel. Definitely want to subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss an upload from me. And I know I'm that bitch. Okay, y'all. So you better subscribe. Okay. Our base is on and it's kind of dry um semi dry because it doesn't get all the way dry but our pillowy's base is on i use number five and six first shade that i want to go in with is in freedom system eyeshadow and 299 and i'm going to pack this on the outer v area y'all already know i like to go in with a flat brush when i use that brush i'm using is a makeup addiction medium shader brush and it looks just like this so my outfit today is like mom i was gonna wear this outfit on thanksgiving but i'm like you know what let me just wait today not to really in the spirit i don't know i just i'm not in the spirit it's just how aren't the same no more maybe right? because most loved ones are gone and I don't know. I just haven't been feeling it. I really am also trying to find myself as well. I miss doing YouTube, but sometimes it just gets stressful. Especially trying to stay up on things, trying to trying to think of new content, trying to think of stuff to put out there. It's just like too much. Sometimes it's easy, but when you want your channel to look a certain way and you want to put in that hard work, it's not that easy, y'all. So y'all can just put out anything, any content, but that's not... Y'all already know me. I try my best not to put out any content. I like to take a big fluffy brush for the second color only because I like it more diffused. So this is the Jaclyn Hill, Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill Collection Brush. I'm going into my Morphe 35A palette and I'm going to grab this shade right here. And I'm just basically packing that on top of that brown we just laid down. Don't worry about being too precise because you are going to go back in and also define it some more. So don't worry about that. If you have pretty leaves, use tinier brushes instead of this one. I only do this one because it's more quicker and efficient for me. I got big leaves. So you want everything to look like it's faded into one. Take this shade, the third row, and this is the fourth color. When it was black, it is in this palette. And I'm taking my Makeup Addiction Pro Blender Brush, and I want to stick this right in the outer V area. Tell you black just do something to that shadow like man just give it that okay bitch i like this brush too this brush is nice and i'm just going to basically deepen this up on my lid my favorite 
Alright, so I'm gonna use this, y'all. This cut off camera and it came out, ooh, came out really good. Um, I told y'all I cut my brushes, so this is the one I cut up. Yeah, I actually cut into like a round circle. So this is the P. Louise brush, came from their set. You can buy that Morphe. I do have a cold, I, I leave it right here. This one right here. And I also cut this one. So look, you see it? I don't know if y'all can see it. I'll probably, I'll probably film a close up and put it inside it right here so that y'all can see. But yeah, I cut the bristles because like when I used to hold it like that, it would like split and every time I do a cut it's just too thick and it wasn't like thin enough so like I don't know I'm, I'm gonna use this one too just a, the MAC 195 to clean it up after I go in with this one first to basically sketch it out but I mean um cause this one's like really thin I don't know why I left off, but I know that <clears throat> I was saying that I used this one to cut my creases to P. Louise brush, and I use this one 195 now to basically clean up the cut crease. I believe your cut crease ages like this only because you want to blend them. Anything you have to blend, like with shadow blend, just blend it. Stop blending. Look how that is when it burns from the side. Like I'm gonna take this brush right here. It's a Morphe 506. I'm gonna take the black. Take this shade right here. I'm taking a fourth shade out of the Morphe 35 H palette, and I'm putting this on the lid. I'm going in with my Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 11.5. This is from Giorgio Armani. Um, I'm actually looking at it now, and this shit is actually too orange. But so far, I like to be tricking you. Grab caramel, because I want to try it. Oh, yes. Perfect color. Oh. Leave it like that. I'm gonna take my sable to burn this way. Sable. It's a pop cheek brush. Just patting it down. Downward. Between here, if it's not blended, just go back in with your concealer and blend it out. It's the Ace Cosmetics.
I've been playing with Max Deep Dark Mineralized Skin Finish, so I think I'm going to do this one today. Mm -hmm. At number 68 and I'm putting taking it on a Morphe 443 of this brush right here I think this is from it's a collection that I got from the holiday set a long time ago This brush is a E36 and I'm taking a 299 with this brown. I don't think I want to stop like right there. Packaging is so cute. It matches my look. Ooh. Okay. I'm proud of my nose and then on my highlight. I have a new highlighter. Um, I did pick up some drugstore palettes, y'all. So let me know if y'all want me to review these palettes. Let me show y'all just a little bit. Look at this. Like, get into this palette. Y'all, period. And then the colors is so pretty. All right, okay. Yeah, we're going to get into that. Let me know. Comment down below and let me know if y'all want. A review on these Juvia's Place Highlighter Volume 2. In my contour kit, tend to deep, and I want to grab these two. I'm gonna add this one. This is the Morphe 554 brush. And I'm going to add that. I'm going to line with pitch. We're done with the face. Um, so I'm going to line with pitch from this pitch. Yeah, this is pitch from ColourPop. 